on the subject of like sharing your story with random people you meet in passing because that's what we do as humans and not feeling insecure or thinking oh this is weird or I don't want to talk about this because they're gonna think I'm a weirdo um funny little story so I've been getting all these quotes from window companies and let me tell you that is scary like <gasps> replacing your windows on your house is no joke um but it's we need to do it so <laughs> the f it's been a nightmare but long story short I've had five different companies come over and give me estimates and quotes and this last guy who came over we're just chit chatting and we're in my entryway and he's getting ready to leave and um I don't know what specifically oh, I think he asked me oh like my availability because he needed to come back and remeasure and I'm like yeah I work evenings um as a waitress so you can come during the day and he was talking about his family and I'm like oh and I also oh that's what I said to him um <laughs> because these it's uh it's um I basically said to him, hey, I have a YouTube channel, and so I hope these windows work out because if they don't, I'm going to make some noise. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, great, that's awesome. And he's like, what's your YouTube channel about? And I said, well, basically, it started out me telling my story of exiting a cult. And he's like, ooh, what cult? And I said, um... He said, is it around here? And I'm like, yeah, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses. And he shrugged his shoulders like, yep. Like, yeah, he knew it was a cult. And we talked about that a little bit. But the point was, um, like, when people ask you, how are you? What have you been up to? And I think I mentioned this before in a different video. Tell them. Because that opens the door to you, first of all, bringing awareness to a topic that needs awareness, just like Leah Remini and bringing awareness to that group, Scientology. It's amazing. Like what, uh, her and Mike Rinder are doing for that community. And, uh, and the other cool thing about that I never ever would have imagined that that's come from just sharing my story. Um, is that people reach out to me, like I literally just had a phone conversation with uh, a guy and hopefully in the next couple weeks I'll be introducing him to you because I, I do want to diverse. He asked me some really awesome questions. He's like, what are your goals and plans with your YouTube channel? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just kind of going day by day. It's just basically like a creative outlet for me right now and I'm enjoying he said, are you getting good feedback? And I said, yeah, it's been really great. And, uh, and then we proceeded to have this really good conversation about the repression and oppression of the black community in the United States. And, uh, my friend, he is black. He's an African American and I can't relate to the problems he's experiencing and has experienced because I'm not African American and you know it kind of comes under that umbrella of we don't really care about things unless it's happening in our own backyard and now having left um, one community that oppresses people it's like your eyes you become aware of all the other areas where people have experienced oppression and ultimately this is about all of us no matter our skin color uh, religious background whatever um, it's about all of us coming together and saying we can do better we are not going to tolerate um, certain segments of society being oppressed so I just said to him, hey, you want to, like, just, you know, have an interview with me? Ooh, the background sign is weird. Um, you want to just have a conversation with me on my YouTube channel, and it'll land where it needs to land. See, this is what I believe. People are like, um, 
yeah, so I'm excited for that because I, I, I don't want this, this to be only about religion, um, or overcoming sugar addiction or whatever. Like I just want it to be organic and a little bit of everything. Cause that's how I've always been. So yeah, my big toe, <laughs> um, it's been, it's been busy, but it's been fun and people are amazing. We are pretty interesting species. We do a lot of really terrible things, but I have a lot more hope now than I've ever had in my life. And that's a great way to, to live life from hope. So I hope that I've been able to speak a little hope into you and, and you can go out now into your life and speak hope into others. Speak life into people, speak hope into people. Bye. For now, for good, for the day. <laughs> Too much rambling. Bye.